guys welcome back to my channel again so today i have this hair from today only and uh, this hair came in three packs and one lace closure and so opening the pack this is what the closure and the bundles look like the bundles are so super cute um the lace closure is 20 inches the bundles are 24 26 and 28 inches so you can see how nice the weft look and the texture of this hair is amazing it's sleek straight and very nice so um today i decided to do a sew in and this sew in is gonna be uh i'm gonna just leave some hair out so what i'm gonna do is to just separate hair out like so round the perimeter like a 360 and a little bit in the front to create the part so yeah i'll just go ahead and show you what i was doing then show you my braid pattern then i'll continue talking to you from there so if you like this hair and everything about it is in the description box so don't forget to check it out don't forget to order yours because ordering this hair you could get up to 35 percent discounts yeah 35 percent discount guys so make sure you follow the description in the description section so and uh, now that i've sectioned my hair around in the, in the perimeter i'm gonna just um con roll my leave out like so i make sure that that is tucked away so that it doesn't interfere with what i'm gonna do next Alright, so now that I've put my leave out away, I'm going to just go ahead and do my braid pattern. I try to keep this simple, but there are different other ways you can, you know, do this braid pattern. So you can try anyone that that feel that you feel that is easier easiest for you. Uh, some people like to go in a round circle, but yeah, I just wanted to just make sure that I braided all of them from the front to the back. But if my first braid goes round the back and i stop there and when i braid the other on the other side i'm going to connect it Alright, so basically I'm just going to just go ahead and just do my braids from the front to the back and connect and that 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 like that until it's finished then I'll talk to you guys. Okay, now I finished my braid pattern and this is what it looks like. So for the braid that is sticking out, I'm going to use the crochet um, needle to just crochet it in. If you like, you can sew it down, which is also perfect. So whichever way that's easy for you, just go ahead and do it. Alright, now I'm going to use a net to, you know, uh, sew on top of the, my braid. You can either use... One of the uh, nets I'm showing, this one is just a weaving cap net. And this one here is the one you can also buy from your local hair uh, supply. And yeah, this is also nice, it's steady. But today I'm going to use this one that everybody will be able to get so that I don't get, nobody should get confused that I can't get, I don't know where to buy this. But this is really everywhere in the hair. Uh, shop so after sewing it down around the perimeter of my braid i'm going to use the scissors to just trim off all the excesses Alright, it's time to sew in and before I go ahead, I want you to know that I washed this hair 
before i'm sewing so just know that you need to wash your hair before you sew them but if you don't feel like washing your hair before you sew it's fine but i wash this my hair all right so i'm going ahead now securing the needle and thread through the weft uh for the beginning and i start it at the end of my braid like so leaving a little bit of space so that when i'm doing the other sewing it will cover it and if you watch this video very well you see what i mean so uh i went ahead and uh, you know measure uh, around the C part of my braid and i cut the hair so that this part is gonna be like i cut the hair not like i want to go back and forth so you will see what i mean if you're watching this video so this is what it's supposed to look like so i'm just going to go ahead and just sew it and i'm sewing it under the braid not on top of the braid so yeah just take note of that So yeah, and uh, now I've reached the end of my first sewing and this is what it's going to look like when I finish. And after I finish, I want to show you what it's like when you flip it up. And yeah guys, this is what it should look like. Now the remaining part of the uh, sewing is going to be from ear to ear, left to right and I make sure that I fill in as much as possible on the space that I have and actually put in um, the three bundles for this hairstyle. If you have more bundles, you can also add it for it to be uh, you know, full enough but I'm, for this video, I'm using three bundles. Okay, now that I'm on the top of my braid, I'm just going to make sure that I finish up with the C part like you are seeing. I just make sure that I cut my weave to fit the particular part and I try to sew this as flat as possible so that when I want to blend my hair in, it to come out very perfect. Alright guys, so this is what I have done. This is the three bundles. This is what it looks like. If you are watching this video to this point, 
guys i really appreciate and please don't forget to like this video don't forget to share don't forget to subscribe if you are new to my channel and so the remaining part of this video is to blend the hair with my own hair and guys so um, just let me know what you think at the end of the video um yeah so this is what it looks like and uh, yeah i'm gonna just go ahead now and blend blend my hair Alright, so I'll start by blow drying my hair to stretch it up a little and um, I'm doing it by section I'm doing the back part towards the ears first then after I'll go ahead with my hot iron and flat you know flatten the hair sorry guys so I'm trying to flatten my hair because my hair is natural hair I'm trying to make it look like a perm hair or a, to straighten out to match the straight hair so yeah guys that's what I'm doing and so what this is what it looks like after I finished and you can see how it concealed the weave and it blended in with it so I'm going just going to go ahead and finish the remaining part and then you see the final result Alright, so um, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to check the description box for the hair detail. And let's tell me and let me know what you think about this sewing. Do you have any particular sewing video that you want me to show? Just comment down in the comment section and I'll be very glad to show it. So guys this is what it looks like and it, this is really amazing if you want to have a leave out and your hair is natural hair you can do this and if you don't want to do that you can just sew in the hair with the uh, lace closure and I have all this kind of video already in case you are looking for one and guys I, I think my hair really blended with it I really love the final look and I hope you all guys like this please like this video and show support drop me a comment and i'll get back to you thanks so much guys for watching and don't forget to check the link to this hair and take care until my next video bye